Hey, what's up guys? Danny Kebab here. How's it going? Hello to all my new subscribers, by the way. And uh, I did want to mention, uh, a little while ago I ran a thing to try and get 100 subscribers by Christmas, and I did manage that, and my 100th subscriber was X Galaxy Gamer X. And I did say to him I'll give him a mention, so there you go buddy, I'll put your channel in the description as well, and uh, your Twitter. So yeah, cheers for that mate. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are playing Fire Range Free For All, and this is my first fail. Dull. Oh, rubbish. But uh, yeah, we're using the AK-47U. I've gone for the uh, colourful camo there. I do like a bit of that. I seem to put that on all my guns at the minute. Don't know what's going on there. A little bit of smoke. We're going to hide from that for a little bit. Not up for that. But uh, the main reason I'm putting this video up today is because I want to talk about the new map pack, the uh, First Strike map Oh, have that, mate. No smoke did no good, didn't it? Oh, now I'm dead. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to talk about the First Strike map pack. Looks awesome. I saw the video for it uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, yeah, well excited. So what have they um, what have they announced then? Hey, so they've announced a new zombie map called Ascension, which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't really play zombies that much, but yeah, I'm sure uh, I'm sure that's going to be wicked. Nice to have a new map. I'll definitely be trying it out. And uh, they announced uh, four other multiplayer maps and they all look amazing by the look of it in the video the graphics just look great I mean that's probably a sort of theatre mode thing but if they're anywhere near that they're gonna be brilliant but uh, yeah so what have we got we went um, got Kowloon in China which is like a rooftop map which looks pretty nice and it's actually got zip lines how amazing is that zip lines flipping it I mean I don't know how that's gonna work out and I'm still that second chance kill very nice Apparently you might not be able to do that soon with the updates, but we'll see. I think it's uh, it's a good idea actually. But anyway, off topic. So yeah, Ka Kowloon, wow, zip lines. Imagine that, you come a proper zip knife or something. Whoosh, right in the face. Be a nice spot to put a cheeky claymore at the top as well actually, I reckon, because uh, people are just going to be going for that big time. So yeah, um, what's going on here? Yeah, 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 so we've got another one called Discovery, which is like a snowy map, a little bit like uh, some of the ones we've already got, but this one has got a bridge that goes in between the two apparently it's the only way across the level so that's going to be mental and on the trailer he chucks a grenade and it blows up the bridge I mean what what flipping heck amazing I mean destructible environment I don't know I assume it's just that part of the level but I don't know does it path the way in the future what do you think I mean possible destructible environments that could be pretty amazing to be honest I'm definitely up for that but yeah, so that map looks really nice. The uh, the next one they announced was Berlin Wall, which looks really nice again. Uh, it seems like it's going to be quite a sniper map, this one. All promoted, 25, nice. Yeah, a bit of a sniper map, sniper map this one, apparently. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do on that, but we'll definitely give it a try. But uh, the, ma the main bit I thought was cool was the No Man's Land, where you can run through and you have to try and avoid the auto turrets. I mean, what what's that about? So you just get like totally owned by auto turrets or something. I mean, I was when I first saw it, I thought, oh, maybe if you're playing on team deathmatch, you could like control the turrets and get all the kills from them or something. That'd be wicked, but no, there's no way that's gonna happen. But pretty nice. Look at this guy have it. Oh, this is a bit of a spy spy plane main spy planeia mania map. This one just get spy planes over and over. Look at this guy. Look at the spray everywhere. What rubbish! Half half a clip into him. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. But my personal favourite map has got to be Stadium. That looks so nice, like the colours, just everything. I'm I'm well into the colourful maps like uh, Nuketown and stuff. But this one looks brilliant. I mean, it could be like Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. That was one of my favourite ones as well. What I'm liking is I know it's sad, but like just the fact there's loads of glass. I just love it because it, you know, you can shoot people through the glass. It's just ah, oh, you know, brilliant. But yeah, like, I mean, um, apparently it's a bit of a run and, a, run and gun one, but I did hear um, someone chatting, Guns for Hire chatting about um, how it's likely to have lots of claymores ever and stuff. Oh, look at this, this guy. Oh no, no, it's not here. I got paid though. Paid! Yeah, this, um, so that map looks amazing. Apparently it could be quite a lot of claymores, but I don't know, we'll have to see, will not we? But I'll definitely get involved in that one, it's going to be a right life. But, um... Yeah, it's going to be cool, I think. I'm quite excited about them. They're not out till the 1st of February on Xbox, and I'm on PS3, so... I don't know, it could be another month or something again? That's what it tends to be, doesn't it? But I suppose that is good in a way, because um, it gives a chance to just check out some videos, see what other people think, 
wait for some of the directors to get videos up and just have a little look at the levels really and you know by the time you actually get to play them on PS3 you kind of know a little bit about them anyway well I find I do which I think is nice so that definitely helped a little bit but uh, yeah so very all have that mate but yeah so that should be pretty cool and um, so what do you reckon do you reckon you're going to buy it I mean I probably will buy it I'll definitely moan about it for a good long time. Just look at this, I'm camping here waiting. And I just get bored and just move, just as he pops his head up. What a fail. Um, yeah, so I think I probably will buy it, but um, I'm definitely going uh, to moan about it. You have to, don't you, you know? It's just the way it is. Always have a little moan about the price and that. And, uh, yeah, I'll get it anyway, you know, you, you're going to have to. I mean, to be honest, I haven't played this one that much, so I'm not really even used to the levels on this yet, so... You know, oh, have that. I'm pretty sure everyone in this game is using Second Chance. If you've seen my other video, you know how much I love Second Chance. But, um, yeah, just everyone seems to be using it. It's not cool. There's no need for it. I wish they'd take that out. That'd be nice. But, I, yeah, I'm quite happy about this patch, actually, they're talking about. Whereas if you down someone in Second Chance, then um, someone else kills them. At the moment, they'll get the 100 for it, and you'll get, like, an assist. But what, apparently what they're going to do is they're going to switch it around, which is quality. Look at this, look at me trying to find this care package. Where'd the, where's the care package? Is it? Oh, it's on the roof. Blimmin' it. And then sometimes you can get them, can't you? What, you get out of it. It's not your care package, mine. Well, it's not mine, but I'm having it. Well, actually, I think no one's having it. You know, whatever. So, um, oh, hello. Oh, he stuck me, but I'm... Oh, yeah, I got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um... Yeah, so you know, like I think that'd be nice. They're switching it around apparently. So basically, if you down a guy, um, you get the hundred, and then someone and someone else finishes him off. Sorry, if you down him and someone finishes him off, they get an assist and you get the hundred, which I think is much better. Like, I think it's only fair, isn't it? Because you do all the work. They only have to fire one bullet, um, and you see in a minute. I think it's in a minute. I might have missed it already, but oh yeah, look at this RC car. I'm amazed. I'm playing that it hasn't gone for me. Like literally every time they go for me. Again, yeah, I need to learn to shoot a little bit. But look at this guy. I have that. Thank you, mate. But, um, yeah, so I'm... I forgot what I was saying now. Um, oh, yeah. So, like, uh, yeah, you see this bit in a minute, I think, where I down someone in second chance and just lost a good old flashbang right his head. It's beautiful. It's got to be, like, a bit of humiliation there. Come on now. Oh, I have this. The epic turn. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Now this game, um, when I first played it and like recorded it, I thought it was really, really good because I it's like my first um, legit win on free for all. As, le legit being like the fact that the timer didn't run out and I, you know, I've won a couple where the timer ran out and I had the most score and that. But yeah, not on um, this one was nice. Um, I basically. But I did die a lot of times. I should, you know, at the time you don't really notice it. You're just like, yeah, come on. Look at this guy, he's down. Oh, that would have been a beautiful double if it wasn't for second chance. But look, check that out. Um, ah, fail. Love it. Love it. But uh, yeah, so um, that's the way it goes. I have, um, I've been trying a few bits and pieces on this game recently, just trying to get used to all the guns and stuff like that. But uh, oh, we should stop meeting like this, man. Oh, hello, what happened there? A little bit of lag or something? Where did he come from? Anyway, yeah. Whatever. But uh, yeah, I've been trying to cover different guns, but I do like the AK 47U as everyone else does. But you know, it's a beast. There we go, look. Oh, and he finishes it on a lovely overspray on that guy. Choo. Yeah, nice. So that's my first legit win. Look at this kill cam. So much spray. Terrible. Just shoot his legs. I do get hit markers, eh? There you go. At least he wasn't in second chance. I would be annoying. Cool, so I got a couple of things there. Career top three performances in Superior 1, whatever that is. But yeah, so 30 kills, something like 25 deaths, wasn't it there? It's not ideal. But uh, you know, it's all good fun, I like it. As long as I'm having a laugh, you know, that's alright, isn't it? Got some unlocks there. Stats card, but I didn't leave it up long enough, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the, uh, the map pack. I'm pretty excited about it. Definitely going to watch some videos on it before I buy it. But uh, yeah, cheers. So um, please thumb up, comment and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, come over and check me out on Twitter if you want. Bye-bye.